Hi, my name is Luke Belinsky. I am from Romeoville, Illinois. I am a double major in physics and music. I play the alto sax. Um, this semester, I enrolled in the jazz band and we focused on improvisation. Um, we could not be in person, um, but we were able to improve our skills and continue bring, being creative um, through online and improvising, as you will see, through recordings. Um, this year, I enjoyed learning um, about improv, which is something I have been interested in, but something I have not always been um, that great at. Um, and I was also, uh, I also enjoyed getting to talk to uh, people that got brought in who are, you know, out in the world um, doing gigs and playing uh, for real. Before this semester, I had minimal improv skill. I had done some in high school and a little bit uh, last year. But I would say I learned a whole lot more this year of the uh, hows and whys of improv. Um, so enjoy my performance of Autumn Leaves.
is Jack Falco, and I am from Brexville, Ohio. I am a freshman with a double major of accounting and music performance. I played, tr I played the trumpet for almost 10 years, and I am enrolled in the jazz ensemble this semester. We've been mainly working on improvisation this semester, like none, none of the ensemble stuff, just like individual improvisation. Prior to this, I didn't. I I knew what improvisation like was, but I just didn't know how to grasp it, like understand it. Now I'm getting like better by the day, and I'm learning what notes and what rhythms to like play. COVID didn't really deter my uh, creativity, but it actually enhanced it. It made me think more. Today you'll be hearing me play "All of Me" by Gerald Gerald Marks and Seymour Simons.
Hi, I'm Max Galakos. I'm from Solon, Ohio, and I'm a second year math major. Um, for this course, for the jazz ensemble, I play guitar, although I'm mainly a drummer. Um, I've pretty much just started playing guitar in a jazz setting, although I've played guitar itself for around three or four years. Um, this semester we touched on a lot of um, impro improvising lyrically. So in the beginning we, we did a lot of blues um, because a lot of blues melodies and solos are, you know, they're not flashy or anything. They're very, very melodic. Um, you can hear one and then you'll be singing it for, you know, minutes to come hours to come, days to come, even after the song ends. So we really were trying to get that kind of side of Im improvising down, um, like really saying something with our instrument. Um, a lot of guest speakers that we had talked about, um, you know, you can play patterns, but a lot of it is about you want to hear a melody. Um, so you know, with the pandemic and everything, we couldn't really have this uh, course be in person, but I feel like despite these limitations, um, we really managed to put something together that, you know, we're happy with and we're satisfied with and we're proud of. Um, and it really demonstrates our growth as musicians. So this song is All the Things You Are by Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein II, um, please enjoy.
Hello, my name is Chevy Kelly and I am a maths and economics major at Ohio Wesleyan. I live in Delaware currently, but I'm originally from New Zealand. I am a senior and I also play guitar in the jazz band. Um, this semester we focused on improvisation and I was really glad that we did that because um, it helped me improve in that regard and I think it helped all of us out. So I thank Dr. Griffin for doing that because it was really, really cool opportunity that we had um, this semester because, I mean, we had to deal with the coronavirus so we couldn't um, rehearse in person. So we've been doing this all virtually and figuring it all out um, over the internet. So it's been a really interesting opportunity to kind of see how this process works. And I think we've all learned quite a bit about it. Um, coming into this semester, I've been playing with the jazz band for I think six semesters now. And uh, well, before this, so this would be my seventh. And um, I would say I would probably be intermediate, beginner intermediate improv um, when it comes to improvisation. And um, I definitely think that I've learned more about the way I play and the way I want to play and how to bring those two things together. Um, maybe it doesn't happen all the time, but you learn more by doing. And I think that's one thing that we've done quite a bit of is trying to improvise in such a way that we reflect ourselves a little bit. Um, so without further ado, let's just crack straight into it. Thank you. 
evening, human beings. I am Tiyunua Olusholalo, a current sophomore student at Ohio Wesleyan University, uh, majoring in pre-engineering, but bi pre-biomedical engineering, and minoring in music composition. And uh, I am, play, or I play, uh, pretty much anything that has black and white keys. <laughs> but for the purpose of this class, I will be playing, or for this presentation, I'll be playing uh, both the piano and the melodica, depending on uh, how I feel. <laughs> um, I enrolled into improvisation, I enrolled into the jazz improvisation class this semester, not even knowing what to expect, especially um, with the coronavirus pandemic and everything, considering the fact that, uh, you know, Improvisation is somewhere is something you typically bounce off of people in terms of ideas, um, right in terms of people that are right around you. Uh, I did definitely didn't know what to expect, but I can say confidently that I have grown in many many ways as an improv as an improviser. Um, most of my life has been one form of musical improvisation or the other because I don't have any form of uh, classical training but definitely being under the wing of Dr. Griffin this semester has proven to be more beneficial than anything in terms of widening my horizons and uh, showing just how far you can take even a few notes like the blue scale for instance and how much meaning you can actually extract from those few notes. And I think it's been a joy. I hope to enroll again next semester, and basically as long as I can, because I'm definitely having a good time, despite, you know, said pandemic. And um, yes, I would like you to enjoy my handiwork, uh, cumulative of a few months of uh, improvisational practice and just being under Dr. Griffin's wing. Uh, have a great day and I hope you enjoy.
very much for watching our concert this evening. I'm so sorry that we were not able to get together and perform on the stage in Great Chapel, but uh, right now we're putting public health first. However, as you heard from the students, uh, as they shared their comments about this past semester, they felt they learned a lot. And uh, we created quite a musical community. Uh, I just want to uh, invite uh, other students on campus that are interested in learning how to improvise uh, to join the class next semester. Uh, we will continue uh, to work on improvisation next semester and hopefully we'll have an opportunity to uh, provide a recording with us uh, with social distance uh, in mind uh, next semester for a uh, performance. So thank you once again. My name is Dr. Griffin. This was my return to the Park Avenue Jazz Ensemble. It's a little different than what we uh, developed 34 years ago, but it was a real joy. Thank you once again. Good night.